Welcome back guys to the Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, but with nine shrines remaining. I mean, of course, trying to get, gather a little bit of extra gear together. And what's the point of materials to upgrade it? And in that, I've noticed beeping spots for more shrines. At the moment, I'm searching for swift violets because I've upgraded at least, let's put it this way. The other thing I majorly search for is Dragon Parts. The Champion's Tunic has been upgraded to have 32 defense. Swift Violets have been searched for because they're part of our climbing gear upgrade. But they also upgrade both the uh, Sand Boots and the Snow Boots for all our mobility. Apart from that, other pieces have been upgraded as well. The Barbarian Armor's full at this point. Hunting a few more Lynels wasn't exactly hard. But I continue to try and get things up. Basically, I need to hunt a load of Lizalfos at this point in time. Well, I'm thinking nine more shrines first. Nine more shrines first. Three shrines last episode brings us up to 111. And it's time to get stuff. The beep at the moment that you're sensing is Swift Violets. Because I need to think another 45 of them at least at this point in time. What we're really after here in the middle of the snow, apart from, of course, a stow horse that we want to get pictured at some point in time. It's coming up tonight at the moment. There's a rush room. We need to get out on that field during night, that's for sure. No Lionel's hanging around, but if I change the sensor again and reset it to normal, what's that? What is that in front of me? There'll be a shrine picked up now. Of course, Guardians. No, it's Lizalfos. Nice, icy Lizalfos. Nope, not, well, some. Others, not so much. Oh, oh, okay, that doesn't set it off. I thought it would. Okay, that was an ice arrow when I meant to fire a fire arrow, of course. There we go. That's the explosion we were wanting. Let's use a little bit of fire there, because it seems, to be honest, that they're not all fire ones. So with the new Savage Linnel stuff that I've picked up in the meantime, because I had to hunt a few of those. Don't hit me, sir. Ow. The sword's going down at this point. It's already been used to hunt some of these guys. Exactly these guys. Maybe I should use this Royal Brawl Sword that I've got ready. One of them's got a fairly strong weapon by the feel of it. Ow! I just thought I'd pick up some stuff quickly. They're kind of covering for each other here a little bit. Yep, they are. A little bit of back and forth. Basically, these high level ones, they always drop a Lizalfos tail. And that is what I need the most. But they're high level for a reason, you know. Right, that's one. I thought I got out of range of you. They tend to drop gems as well. Which, unfortunately, during one occasion, they dropped the gems into the water. And they all sunk. And there was like a diamond, a sapphire, ruby, and a topaz. And I'm like, there's a thousand rupees just under the surface that I can't pick it up. But look at the gear they give you. So they're always good to be fighting, really. There's another Lizalfos tail. And there's another Lizalfos tail. We need them to upgrade many things, that's for sure. We may as well pick up the item, as we're so near a shrine now. Hidden underwater by the look of it. Another sapphire means that that cat was actually incredibly lucrative. The only problem is the water's flowing the other way. I'm guessing jumping into that water is going to hurt. The other beep actually comes from the canyon as we fought, so technically there's an extra shrine. I thought there'd be one round here, where well, I think there is one. However, there's one right next to this shrine, which means you can never really discount each and every shrine as you go along, can you? Right, so that's what we're after. We're going to have to go in the icy water to get there. Hello, foxes. Well, time to lose some HP. Because there's no way gear is going to protect against that. As we reach the Lana Ku Shrine. 
Hopefully, we can just break into Hyrule Central soon. I'm just wondering where I should go from. There's going to be a lot to explore in there, that's for sure. But shrine number one. That'll bring us up to 16. Enough for four upgrades. Oh, that's a trial? Is it shrine quest just for getting here? Where are the quests for these shrine quests? You know what I mean? I've already proven my worth that I was willing to go through frozen water. Well, thank you, Lanaku. Thanks for your blessing and all. Gold rupee is the blessing I really wanted. Because, of course, we've got to go get that rest of that armor. Sell some diamonds, pretty much. Sell some diamonds. Can't sell the other materials at the moment because I still might be needing them to upgrade stuff. There's opals need to upgrade things. The sapphires need to upgrade things. I can't really get rid of the moment. But thank you for all the health back. Thank you for all the health. Well, one shrine down, one more orb. If they're all as easy as that, great. But basically, it was just jumping up and back and round and down for swift violets over here that I found, you know, what I needed. Shrine, shrines galore. The other question is, or the other thing I found is, basically the best place for the swift violets seems to be the Thunder Plains itself. Why I say that? Oh, there's a cork here, for starters. Because on those mushrooms that are sprouting out of the ground, there's generally a set of five around several of the mushroom's rims. Which is a very good thing to do. Hunting the dragons was a bit painstaking, as soon as you kind of, like, realise... ...roughly what you're doing, in terms of getting them to spawn at places at certain times, and roughly where to attack them from, because that matters too. Because otherwise, for example, one of the places I was spawning them was early in the morning at... Using fire, campfires, of course. At, next to Laneru, along the bridge. The Great Laneru Bridge, leading on to Kakariko. Where we got that very first memory. And if you shot him from one angle, it would go off way into the water. Like, random, and you'd have to go get it, and it would take ages. If you shot him at a different angle, it just went into mountains nearby, and you could keep resetting, which was great. But with that done... We're now going to fly off this way. It is night time now, of course. So we kind of want to also go into the snow fields. To see if we can see a skeletal horse. We've also got our labyrinth quest done as well. What monsters are here? Well, you know I've got to get on on that. Not so much a sneak strike, that one, was it? Something died in the meantime, just from being nearby. But luckily, because it's their high-level area-ish... Ow, axe! They go down all the same. But really, the best thing to fight these guys with is the fast weapons. Whoa, no wonder that was hurting! Alright, time to get you down. I don't mind a woodcutter's axe. I could probably do with some more wood for campfires and whatnot. No Liz Alphos tell that time. You can get them from the blue ones, but it's... Oh, you got a mop? I'm threatened. I seem to have blasted something away. In fact, what happened then? You don't notice me. Come on, monster. Me versus you. Except I'm missing. I know I've got boomerang. I could throw at him. But I want the gems to land nearby. So look at that. A diamond. Whenever you see one of them, it's basically free farming for victory. I don't think I need any icy keys wings. Also got some normal arrows. It's a miracle, yeah? I don't think this guy wants to come get me. Hi, skeletons. You're not really carrying exactly what I need in the moment. For example, you are not mounted on our horse. It's into here I want to go. Now, where was it? I think it's around the spot that I had noticed before. Well, the rain coming down is interesting. There's a spot to bomb there. Swift violets there as well. Not that I'm actually going to get to climb that, if you know what I mean. Come on, hit it. There we go. Need these to upgrade the radiant gear. Can't use them for money anymore, pretty much. But I still need to hurry up. Amber and a sapphire, nice. This is going to break now. 
Oh, one more hit do you have? A Korok here? That's not a mini Talus, that's for sure. Nope, that's a Flint. Shame to find no Korok. Come on, hurry up. We need to walk back while it's night time. So the beeping was somewhere around it. Yeah, yes. Which hints it being really low down, to be honest. There it is. May as well begin our descent at pace. As we reach the Dunbar Targ Shrine. Down in the depths here. So that's at least two shrines done. And believe it or not, with the fighting we've done, we've done actually a lot of good work towards other things. Just from facing those Lizalfos camps. Of course, there's a Lizalfos around the, uh, what was it, the Ridgeland Tower? I think it's called. But as we enter, build and release Dunbar Tag Shrine. We see a very interesting puzzle. Right. It's a stasis puzzle, obviously. I've got to stop the cog. That's what I'm messing up here. Is there a certain side with... Yes, there's a certain side with the path as well. <laughs> Nearly. Not quite. That'll be better. Alright, so we hit that in. What else is that going to do? Is there something underneath? No. Wait, build and release? We've hit that po pillar. We've done the job, by the look of it, but nothing actually is happening in terms of solutions. Well, this is interesting. It looked like that's what I needed to do. Maybe it didn't get hit in all the way. I try to hit it again, I guess. No, that's not going to work either. We hit it again. But it doesn't have the momentum or something? If I encountered a bug here. There we go, we gotta push it in even further. So basically, we're only getting it part of the way in. I hit it three times. Come on. Whoa, what was that? Oh, that was the uh, the chains breaking. Okay, phew. Well, I can do that. No problem. What else have we got here? Well, we've got another something something behind there. We can definitely cause them... to fall over, I guess. We definitely hit that one. You kind of wonder what's the point. Did I just mess that up? Something has to hit there as well to knock that down. There's barrels that are probably to give me the hint. Because they're made of stone. Well, you're about to break, so we may as well break you on it.
Now that ended up going downwards because of the way I faced that. They respawned from here by the look of it. It's just the fact that the angle I was going at meant it was going to blast away away. I don't know if I'm going to hit it or not at this rate. It didn't get knocked down. Well, this shrine's a bit weirder. Am I too close? Mass is sort of recharged, so don't worry about that. There we go, it's toppling. Alright, that's in for the shrine. We have a ball down here. Okay, it's required to hit there by the look of it. Let's get it roughly into position. We're going to lose a lot of weapons here, basically. That I was expecting, and I don't really care too much about. That should be enough for you. You should bounce back nicely onto it. Alright, a great thunder blade is gained. We could use that to hit, I guess. We've got at least one more chest because we've got one more puzzle. And it is again with these. <laughs> to hit that switch from here, where do I need to place it? What do I need to do? The problem is, of course, the angle. But we got it. I like how one of the blocks fall in front of the chest over here. Well, after thinking that the dungeon was bugged, we've got it worked out now. As we get a falcon bow. And believe it or not, I actually had space for all. One of the things I've got is a super lino bow. The one of the ones that fires five arrows. So if we need to fight something hard like a lino, bombard it with that. Put on my four berserker gear. I'll have 60 defense. Be able to tank it hard. May the goddess smile upon me indeed. May the goddess smile upon you, sir, as we reach 113 shrines. And 140 Korax. I don't think I'm going to reach that 150 total. But I'm going to get near. But to be honest, we've got a whole area still to explore. That is, if we haven't missed a shrine in all the other areas around. Luckily, material exploration can help quite a bit. But for now, where do we go, you say? Well, I'm thinking of travelling in from there. But how about we get ourselves finally the stuff at Akala? We might have to travel to, like, Tarry Town first to try and sell. Not from the tower, but from there. Sell some stuff, make sure I've got enough for 6,000, isn't it? So we're gonna need 5,000 more. Not far away though. Just set up a little bit more. Oh, it's night time, isn't it? Though it's probably past night considering the time I spent. Yep. Missed my chance to spot the horse for now. But night time comes back around. The other thing we need to check out is Kilton. So we do need night time for many a reason. I mean, Kilton at Tarrytown is always just down there, so he's quite easy to reach. Kakariko is up on high. I definitely prefer him appearing here rather than anywhere else. Who knows? There might be another side quest here. 
Let's hope not, of course. As we land in Tarrytown. Right. So, vendors for the day. You're just going to live here now. You're sitting over there. Grayson and his son are just waiting. Early matrimony is great. Looks pretty normal to me. Right. Sell some stuff. How much you let me... No, 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 never mind. I want to sell. So I've got to go around the back, haven't I? Right. Hey, big bro Grayson's friend. Need something? I came to sell. Sure thing. What do you want to sell? Well, I want to sell many a thing, sir. Look at these lovely dragon parts that I spent ages farming. Right, rock salt does not sell for hardly anything, so Eustace took a look at that. Oh, lovely, lovely dragon parts. That took forever, I'd like to point out. Right, so we'll sell at least 20 of these. So 600 rupees there. Can't sell luminous stones. I definitely need to keep them. Uh, monster parts we need to keep for Kilton. So Lizalfos Talons will be able to exchange for a lot of Mon. Topaz, Rubies, the whatnot, I probably shouldn't sell. The one thing that I think I actually can are these. So we need to sell 6 is 3,000, so it's 9 to make the right amount. We may as well just make it 10. 5,000 rupees worth. You just had that line around? Well, I've got enough Lizalfos Tail for another upgrade of a piece of gear, that's for sure. As we move along. No side quests? No quests? Good to know. To Akala. And what's the point? To the ancient tech lab. The other thing is I can just warp up to the snow fields and then wait for night. That works too. The one thing I can't do is put on the skeleton uniform and then try to use that. Because of the cold. Of course, I have a billion materials that I can make cold elixirs with, but most of the time my food inventory is just full. I wish I could sell some of that, I guess. Right then, Akala Ancient Tech Lab. We'll find I'm missing on materials for some bit or other at this point. Hey, hey, peep peep. Familiar name missing. Insert materials and get your goods. That's what we're looking for, so what will we be missing? Nothing by the look of it. We'll be able to buy the full set. The ancient helm is ours. I wonder what materials I need to, like, upgrade it. Results available. So, I've got one now? Okay, it's just appeared in my inventory. So now we've got the curious two. Oh, we're missing one ancient gear. One gear. Right. There might be some just out here. And if there's not, we've always got that guy just a little bit down the mountain. Just a little... We might be able to claim some stuff from. These guys got any parts on them? There's a screw. Another screw. To be honest, to get the gear, I reckon I'm probably going to have to kill one. Hi, Korok. Yeah, hi. You're not really who I'm interested in. One gear. Just screws all around in here, isn't it? I definitely saw a search function. Yeah, there we go. They're all going to have just screws. So many search places, but nothing really to get. I'm being all stealthy up there. Alright then, time to bash this one down then. It's you we're after. I'm going to say, you can't really do much about this. Looks like we could just finish it with normal arrows, no problem. Not one I'm fearful of, that's for sure. One gear. Do you know what? I didn't get a single one, did I? Nah. <laughs> Alright, time to hunt a beast. By the look of it. So that we can... Claim what we really want. The last piece of all of that. 
Of course, there's only going to be moblins around nearby now. So we're going to have to warp it. One place that we do know there to be ones... Is, yeah, to be honest... There's definitely some stuff here. We have thought we'd become hunting just for the one thing, rather than going to get some more shrines. We're finally getting the full set. But no. It will not allow me. And it's probably going to require a ton of gear, it's just a thing. So I'm going to probably end up just hunting a ton of guardians at some point. You know when things are going too well. You've got two shrines marked, you know where you're going. Got a fair few more gems just from hanging around the place. And then boom, bad times. I just realised I don't really need to be in this anti-cold gear, do I? Let's go full offence. We're heading into enemy territory after all. Is it all flying guardians here? By the look of it, yes. Come on, guys. I know one of you would drop a gear, hopefully. <laughs> ah, I'm chasing them. It doesn't work that way. You. How did you not see me? Oi. Look this way. It seems I can't knock you down very well. Can I get on top of it? I'm right here! That's half his HP. Oi! About to say that was worrying. <laughs> it doesn't want to fight! Leaving! Help me, someone! <laughs> he keeps shooting me! I'd never have thought they just don't want to engage whatsoever. It is like legitimately going, no, can't take this. One more shot to the eye. You better give me a gear. One gear. Right, we hunted him down good. Because uh, it's going to have enough attacks to get that. So we've got enough to get the armor finally. Also, supposedly in that labyrinth nearby, there's a diamond circlet if you ever should want one. Not that I don't have enough diamonds to just craft one. But being able to find it is not so far bad a thing. So finally, we get the full lot. The question is, what's required material-wise to upgrade it? If it's more, then I'm going to have to hunt a billion. Hopefully it's not gears, because they seem to be the ones in short supply. I didn't check those guys around there. They might have had the stuff, really. Right then, familiar name missing. I am welcome. I know. Right then, the ancient greaves are ours. We had enough ancient cores after all. Right, ancient arrows as well. I'll probably take another set of them. Which leaves us fairly low on cash. But not horribly bad off. There'll be one here now. Oh no, maybe not. Or an active one behind the branch. No. All good. Well, let's see what it takes to upgrade it, eh? And give another great fairy some love. Or let another great fairy take some love, depending on your perspective of this. Two shrines... 
That should be the last armor set. Looking good. I mean, there's none others we've seen around. Let's put it on with its Guardian Resist. So now I look really crazy. Have they just repurposed, like, the armor from the Guardians? Well, there's some more Luminous Stones if I should need them, after all. I'll probably come and pick them back up. But for now, Great Fairy, tell me what it takes to upgrade yet again. The level 4 upgrades are kind of crazy enough as is. Here I am, says Midja. Yes, I've come here again. I, I come fairly often. Right, you say you can enhance my clothes to the max, so we need more Lizalfos tails for these guys, but we also need Hinox's guts, which means I've got to go fighting a fair few of them, probably my least fought things. The Zalfos tail, however, oh. seat requiring the opals there. If we get this done, then I no longer need opals, so I can just sell them. <laughs> so essentially, that's money in the bank now when we get them. So that's the Zora gear fully upgraded. Now, so we do need screws, springs, and the whatnot. I wonder how far I can take it up at this point in time. Well, apart from that, it's all about collecting stuff like smothering butterflies and the whatnot. Do you know what? That's not even bad to be able to get those smothering butterflies and have a little bit. Hinox guts again needed for that. Stealth stuff needs stealth in trout by quite a bit. We've got all the silent princesses. Fire keys wings here. I need more swift violets. Yellow to Zelfos Tails to get these ones up. 15 more. So it's basically a ma major Lizalfos hunt around. Lizalfos Tails again. I see Lizalfos Tails for those stuff. The Goblin Guts here for the Hylian stuff. Not that they really need to be <laughs> upgraded anymore. And Amber on top of that. So I'm going to go upgrade it and get things going. And I'll see you next episode. As we look for that Stal Horse and then dip, possibly into central Hyrule. I'll see ya. Bye-bye.